Women who have blonde hair really need to pay attention. Any yellowness in that blonde hair is not nice and neither is orange. So if you want to look expensive, if you want to really look put together, you make sure that you have a proper hair color. And I would say this is one of the most common issues I see out there that actually does cheapen the appearance of a woman. And you know what? <laughs> it's even worse sometimes is when you have really dark contrasting roots and then you have the kind of yellow tinted blonde hair that's growing out and that combo really cheapens the appearance. Point number two. Now this is something that many of you haven't probably thought about, but think about this. When you leave your rubber band for your hair around your wrist and it's kind of just there with you the whole day or half the day or whatever, almost like a little bracelet. Now ladies, that does cheapen the appearance, even if it's a very small and subtle thing, but details are details and it's important to pay attention to them. And before I continue, I need to make you aware that May 9th, 2022, I am hosting a brand new workshop and I'm going to do this workshop live and I'm going to reveal some style of truths that they don't want you to know. There is a reason why you ladies have a closet full of clothes, but nothing to wear. And I'm going to reveal why and how to fix this. So if you want to join this free workshop on May 9th, visit styletruths.com and register. Point number three. Now what does cheapen someone's appearance is when they don't get the right undertone in their foundation right. And this you can especially see in daylight when a lady appears and you can see like, oh, that foundation is a little bit too yellow for her skin tone or it's a little bit too pink, meaning that she doesn't have the right tone. You need to know if you have neutral skin, if you have cool skin or if you have warm tone skin. And then you have to go and find the foundation in that tone and the foundation that actually matches the current level of your skin color, not too dark and not too light. Point number four. Now I'm happy I'm not in that department today. <laughs> I literally came from the hairdresser. Ladies, your split ends are downgrading your entire appearance. So please go regularly to the hairdresser. Make a little bit of effort because truly, even though you want to grow out your hair, you don't want to cut it. Trust me, you're going to look more elevated and more expensive if you just cut off that really dry and crispy and frizzy split ends and instead have really healthy looking hair. Plus your hair is going to look more full and more luscious. So make sure you do that. Point number five, tacky behavior is always going to cheapen your appearance because what happens often is that women pay a lot of attention to what's going on here and then they forget about, okay, well, how about how you speak? How about how you move? How about your body language, your posture, your behavior, what you say, blah, blah, blah. Like all of those things add up. And when you have a disconnect going on there, it cheapens your appearance. You can't just look good and have a cute hairstyle. You have to also behave accordingly. If you dress elegant, you have to somehow have some form of consistency in that personal brand. Otherwise, it's all lost. Number six, having a representable mouth. And I'm talking now actually the appearance, but also of course what you say. But really the appearance of your mouth is important because if you have certain issues, I mean, I was born with awful teeth and I did my teeth. The mouth is a body part that is constantly in focus because when you are talking to people, when you're socializing, people are looking at your mouth because you are talking with your lips. So it is important that this area is somehow, you know, well presented. I understand that improving, let's say your teeth, maybe getting braces or maybe getting veneers is costly and not possible for everyone. So I'm not referring necessarily that that's what you have to do, but I'm really talking about keeping this area in a good state. Make sure your lips are moisturized. <laughs> Make sure you have a good breath. <laughs> Make sure you get those teeth cleaned. Make sure to teeth whiten at home if possible. Number seven, wearing a juvenile perfume is going to cheapen your appearance because how you smell adds on how people perceive you. And of course, if you smell like sweat or another bad odor, so please do use that deodorant and have a wash once per day. But I'm talking about now having cheap perfumes in general, but especially those really juvenile ones. I feel like sometimes there are just certain perfumes, like, I don't know, I wouldn't wear Britney Spears perfume as an example, because for me, that's just too juvenile. I 
think a lot of celebrity perfumes tend to be a bit juvenile. You want to, of course, smell more expensive if possible. Let me know in the comments below, ladies, which smells you find to be the most elevated. I'm actually soon gonna make a video on perfumes, so stay tuned. Number eight, wearing a style that is a little bit outdated. Now, luckily us who are interested in classic styles, we don't really have to worry too much, but of course, even classic styles need to be a little bit, you know, touched up once in a while to, to make sure that we don't look like we're still in the 80s or 90s. As an example, you don't want to have your skin overly tanned because that was maybe popular, let's say in the 80s or early 2000s. You don't want to maybe add those really light pink lips. Again, that was a trend maybe 10 years years ago. Number nine, and this one shocks me every time I see it, but I must also say that sometimes I have done this mistake myself and oh, it is so easy to make this mistake. So that's why I know there is a reason to why so many women make this mistake. I'm talking about when you ladies uh, make your eyebrows look too strong, too bold, too much, just too abnormal. Your eyebrows should be suitable for you. They shouldn't be too harsh. They shouldn't be too strong. They should have a suitable color for you. Now I have made the, ma the makeup mistake in the past where, you know, you start working on your eyebrow and then like, oh no, I did a mistake. Then I have to like fix it a little bit. So you add a little bit more. And then all of a sudden you have this like really strong eyebrow there. And you're like, how am I gonna fix it? So you keep on doing, and then you just realize that now you're left with this awful eyebrow. And you have to do the exact same thing on the other side and then look like absolutely crazy. But what I want to tell you is that Sometimes I've been lazy. I'd be like, oh, no, I can't be bothered like starting all over again and wash my face. So I just walk out like that. But that's what I want to make you aware of. Don't do that. Make the effort. If you make a mistake when you feel your eyebrows, please go and wash your face and start all over again. It's worth it. Now, before I give you number 10, I have a little gift for you ladies. So I have created a checklist for you, a little checklist that you can pull out and you can check, check, check to see. Have I done this before leaving my house? Because what happens often is that we leave our house looking a bit crazy or not elegant, or we have done some mistakes that downgrades our appearance. And I have now put together a checklist that you can just go through that list to make sure that you have done everything on point so that you don't have to worry. Visit classychecklist.com and get this checklist. It's absolutely free. Number 10, another big popular one that does cheapen the entire appearance. Don't cheat on this one. I know it's not easy being a woman, but ladies, make the effort if possible. I'm talking about chip nails. I know sometimes we might be in between our sessions or the salon is closed or it's a public holiday, whatever, of course, things happen. But really try as much as possible not to grow out those nails, not to have them that chipped because does it really look hygienic, you know? Now in my next video, 10 things that tell you got class, I'm gonna give you some real good pointers on how you can be a high class woman, actually without having to do much financial investment in that. Check out that video and you'll understand what I'm talking about. I will see you there.